think that's what it's supposed to look like. And so, uh, you know, obviously, I, I, I think Keaton is, is a really special player, and I've said that since I've been here last spring, you know, and so that hasn't changed. And uh, like I said, he played, he played really, really well, and, and he's been playing at a high level really all year. There's been a couple games where he's had a couple too many turnovers, but other than that, he's played at a high level all year. Um, but, that, but the thing that you also have to acknowledge is, is he has great players around him. And, and I thought as a whole unit, they did a great job playing well together. And that's the most important thing. Is, um, it's not just one guy. And like I say, Keaton, um, he, he's a special player. And uh, as long as I'm with him, I'll tell, him, you, know, I'll tell you that. Like I said, he, he's a good one. Um, but it takes 11 guys playing together to, to, to play like that. And uh, that's what we had tonight. And that's what, that's what it's supposed to look like. You've been behind him. I don't know. I was kind of wondering that myself whenever they, they told me that we had four go over 100. Um, that's kind of what I thought. Of. I don't know if I've ever seen that uh, as a player or a coach. I'd be interested to know. But um, to have that, that's awesome. You know what I mean? And, and, it, and there's been, you know, playing for Coach Leach and, and coaching with Coach Leach. Obviously, I've been a part of some uh, big offensive performances. But I don't know if we've ever had four guys separately go over 100. And, and so uh, that was awesome. And it just goes to show, again, uh, the depth of the talent we have. And, and uh, you know, early on they were trying to take away Big Pitt. And I don't blame them because Pitt's a special player. But uh, there, there's too many weapons to take one guy away. And so then whenever you get away from Pitt, uh, now, now he's he's uh, he's free to go to go get his at that point. So um, it was a fun night. Like I said, they they played they played coverages that allowed us to throw the football. Uh, Keaton saw the field well, executed at a high level, and the guys around him made plays. And, and again, you can't. It takes eleven. It's not just Keaton or just the receivers. It's all linemen, the running backs. The run game was decent. Uh, the all line protected well, and so. It takes 11 to, to go do that. What statement do you feel this offense is made on this picture? What's that? What statement do you feel you've made as an offense? I don't know. You know, like I said, I think we can continue to improve, and that's been what I've said since I've been here is uh, starting in spring, our goal is to improve every day, and, and uh, in spring ball, we want to get better every practice. You know what I mean? Same thing here, and that's what I try to preach to the guys. Is we got to be better on this Tuesday's practice than we were, you know, last Tuesday. And, on Wednesday, we need to be better than Tuesday, you know. And so, if you just continue to improve and continue to believe, uh, good things happen. And that's that's what we've seen. Like I said, they're, they're coming together. The offense is, I think, especially down the stretch, is, they started to play at a really high level. And uh, all the guys that came knew we had a, a really special offense. And, and I think a lot of it has to do with confidence, you know. I mean, what, it helped to kind of feel uh, here, here as we've gotten going down the stretch, like, man, we can be unstoppable. And then the more they see that, the more they feel that. Uh, the more you you look like that, and like I said, it just it just builds, and that's what uh, that's what we expect offensively is to like I said, continue to improve and get better, and uh, like I say play with a lot of confidence, and and I think that's what you saw tonight with guys that, that a great group of players that finally have kind of felt what it's supposed to feel like, and 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 that's kind of the culmination of it right there. You know, like I said, this is what it's supposed to feel like, and then when you got this group, that's kind of talent out there. You have nights like that, and I think we can do that on a regular basis uh, with, with the guys we have, like, as this offense gets rolling, and that's, that's what we expect to do. You really attacked the middle of the field today. Was that a part of the game plan or just the, the adjustments throughout the game? I think that was just kind of what they were giving us, and that's uh, another thing that I think is the beauty of the offense is the ball is going to find when they're weak, or that's that's the, <laughs> that's the design behind it at least. And so um, they, they were, like I said, the, because of the, some of the coverages they've played and stuff like that, we, we had some shots over the middle of the field and we hit them. And uh, but really across the board, that's that's the cool thing about all those guys going over 100. You know, we play, we hit them outside, we hit them over the middle. You know, predominantly Pittman and, and Tyler were outside. We had two outside receivers go over 100. Well, for, uh, most of the night, um, Drake and, and uh, Raw were inside. We had two inside guys go over 100. So. Uh, I thought we did a great job distributing the football and, and, and understanding what they were trying to do, or Keaton understanding what they were trying to do with the coverage and getting the ball where it needed to go. And that's how you get four guys over 100. How did I look in his return to you, and how much did just having him and his rushing style back kind of change what you guys were able to do? With the oh, that was huge for us. To have both Bayan and uh, Steven back in there was was really big for us. And that's, that's we've missed that. You know, and Keenan, like I said, he, Keenan's a good player and does a lot of good things. Uh, but when you can keep fresh backs in there, and the other good thing is, you know, they have a little bit different styles. When you see uh, Vi and Carr getting lots of yards after contact, it puts the defense in a bind, it really does. And you kind of have to make a decision. 
are, are you going to load up that box and, and leave those guys vulnerable with, with four four grown horses out there? Or are you going to load them? Are you going to empty out the box and let uh, and let Vi and Car run wild? And, and so um, to have a, a healthy stable makes a huge difference. And, and uh, like I said, it was fun to have them all tonight. Was there a time this year where you decided you're going to throw the ball deep more? You're just really going to take those shots. Well, we've tried really, that's been something we've tried to do most of the year. Now, there was a point in the season where I think a lot of people were just completely bailing out and trying to, their one goal was to take that away because they're down the field pass. Um, and I think that was kind of early in the middle of the season. And, and Keaton, you know, Keaton was young and, and forced some balls and turned the football over and wasn't doing it and didn't get down to the check down there as quickly. Um, well, lately he's done a much better job of getting the ball down and checking the ball down and finding his check downs. And, and making them pay for just getting out of there. And, and the receivers have done a great job and running backs of being explosive with the football in their hand, you know, catching a five-yard pass and being explosive with it. Well, when you start doing that and the quarterback starts understanding that they're just bailing out of there and I can get explosive plays from checking it down, you really put them in a bind and it, and it forces them not to be able to do It makes them not be able to do that. And that's what you see towards the end of the season. They weren't able to just all get out and take away the deep ball. And that's when... Uh, you got a chance to take some shots on the deep ball, and, and lately you've seen uh, seen us take some shots and, and hit them. And so it's been a uh, it's been a fun few weeks, and uh, yeah, playing it, they've really been playing at a high level. That offense. I know you. I know. I know you recognize Keaton's potential, like from day one. You've been telling us. Has anything that he's done at any point even surprised you, though, for at least for an 18 year old, especially? Not really, like I said, the day I stepped out here, I knew he, he, he knew he was different, and uh, and he's done what I expected him to do. You know what I mean? Uh, coming out of spring, I thought um, he was probably as good as any of them. And then, you know, in fall camp, there was some he made some freshman mistakes and, and some consistency deals. But I knew whenever we put him in, he was going to be special, and he's done exactly what I expected him to do since he's been the starting quarterback. Like I said, there were some games early on where he tried to force some balls and didn't take what they were giving him and turn the ball over, but. Other than that, he's played at a high level since he stepped in. You know, his first game against Stanford comes in and plays at a high level, and, and uh, he's never looked back since. And so he, he's a special player, and uh, we're fortunate to have him.